Okay, so out of the most recent batch of cubes I borrowed from Cubeworks, there's still two more that I've yet to review. The GTS2, I do have a bit more complicated things to say, and I'm stacking this one up against my main, the same way I did with the Gun XS. So, probably more complicated, whereas the using 8 is more simple to talk about. So, yeah. Okay, first I'm just going to mention this cube as a non-speed cube. So, if you're just someone who wants to put this giant cube on your desk or your shelf somewhere and impress all the visitors and even let non-cubers handle it in your hands. I think this is actually the safest bet because uh, it's the most difficult one to pop and it's also the most impressive looking one because like once again it's really big and like if uh, someone who doesn't have any background understanding of cubing were to look at this they would definitely be more impressed rather than looking at a cube that's the size of a 7x7 seven seven. but then if you are a speed cuber of 8x8s eight eight, I think this one is actually the worst one out of all three of them and like okay the numbers don't lie so this one I average with all three of them and like okay so the biggest disadvantage of the little magic 8 is just hands down the size it's quite obvious this is 87 and this is 83 and yeah you can really see a bit of difference and even when I prep it there's a there's quite a big difference because I can only hold like everything except for the for three layers whereas with this one I can hold everything except for two layers and then with this one I can hold the whole cube at once so like in terms of amount of control I have and speed cubing definitely this, this cube is going to lose out and another difference is stability regarding stability I would recommend about watching my video about why I think the Meilong is the best mechanism I think the video is called why Meilong is a superior mech or something like that so in the video I talk about like how many levels there are to a center so the little magic mechanism as well as the Huang Lo mechanism only has one level meaning the centerpiece is just one layer and everything just hooks underneath it so this cube is also the least stable one out of all three of them it's like the layers do flex around quite a lot more and yeah with the Sheng Shou, it's, it has a two-layered two mechanism, meaning there is an internal 3x3 three three inside, so like, it is significantly more stable. Although I think I do get my fair share of flexing as well, but since this cube is smaller and more stable, I generally can hit a higher TPS than I can with the Little Magic, and of course with this one, it, yeah, it's kind of a no comparison again. So the MF8 has a triple-layered mechanism, meaning it has an internal 3x3, three three, which on top of that, there's an internal 5x5. Five which makes this cube like by far the most stable one out of all three of them and also since the size is really small I can really spam TPS really fast of course I did set up my MF8 with like magnets and spring swap and things like that but I think even without these like when I first got this cube before auto set up I could actually solve it at a similar time with my shirt show so let's say if I didn't set it up I just broke it in and I just clean out the loop and treat my own loop but no magnets no spring swap I think this one would still at least beat the shirt show by a slight margin of course, since I did all the crazy setup, it beat the show show by a crazy budget and like, yeah. But I do think like, in terms of soft timings, the Little Magic 8 doesn't really quite keep up with the other two. Like, I do think this cube is a bit different from most other cubes because like, with, I think my show show is quite broken in. I think the, the layers started off unequal at the beginning, but it's quite similar now. And the MF8, this one is just blatantly smooth and really fast and it's pretty much a haste 8 with slightly worse corner cutting. But other than that, it's, yeah. I would probably think it's better than things like Uzi and MSMS. Whereas for this one, okay, uh, the outer layer is quite nice. It's actually a little bit faster than the Shokyo 8. And I think a bit faster than my Huanglong 9 as well. The second layer is a bit worse than the first, but still okay. The third layer is where I really dislike this cube, and I think the third layer is just horribly crunchy, slow. And the fourth layer is smoother than third and I think it's heavy just because of the amount of pieces there are but it's I think the turning is also way better than third layer so really I think only the third layer is bad I think the rest is kind of okay but it does give this cube a bit of an inconsistent feel when you're turning it okay I'm going to do a last four ages demo with these three cubes Okay, so before I start my demo, just a few ground rules. I'm going to be doing this Yao 5 style, meaning I've solved a cross and like two F2L pairs at the back already, and I'll just be doing two edges on the front. And another thing about this demo is that since the cases are all set up, I'm not going to run into parity. And like, uh, that's how, that's just how the cube works. If I do, I'm just going to start by doing a solve on this one. And I think this edge is a little bit too soft, so I'm, I'm actually going to scramble it a little bit. I think that's adequately scrambled. This f 2 pair is kind of useless because I can't slot it anywhere. So I'm just going to do a last four edges. So, okay.
So we have 29 seconds to solve all the remaining edges. So yeah, 44.43. Okay, 43.70. So like, I think in terms of grip, I think that uh, yeah, the size difference of these two are closer than whereas this one is quite a fair distance apart. So I think any these two should the timings that I get on these two should be closer to each other where whereas this one is probably gonna be like a lot faster and like than than the other two. So yeah, that's kind of expected. So yeah, I think my recommendations for 8x8 is if you just want a big cube to impress your guests and you just want to put the cube on the, on the shelf mostly for show, more for show than for solving then definitely I think this one would probably be the best option but if you want to get fast with 8x8 then yeah, if you don't want to set the cube up, I think this one is still the best option and if you are willing to put in all the work then definitely hands down this one because but of course it's quite a lot of work because you need to magnetize the whole cube and as well as Either compress the springs or get yourself a sacrificial unicorn king or just go and sacrifice one of your old 4x4s if you have it.